everyone. Welcome back to the show. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode. Today we're going to talk about a bait that has been around for so long, but has become a forgotten about bait unless you're in one of a few small circles kind of scattered throughout the country where there's a bunch of diehards that have a really, really love relationship with this. But it's something they don't talk about much. So unless you're in the know, you don't really know guys are throwing it. And it's such an old school bait that you just don't realize that it's still around. You know, a lot of people I don't think even know you can still buy these. Uh, for me, this bait is something I've been familiar with for almost my entire life. I recall going through my grandpa's tackle box when we'd be on vacation and he'd have some of these. And I know he used them and caught some fish on them. I started throwing them when I was very young because of that. And then I kind of put it away. You know, during my college years, I put it away and really didn't even think about it until I started to go into uh, some professional level events down in Florida. And at that point, I ended up having to buy some more of them. And I've used them ever since then. And it's a bait that I have tied on quite a bit. And what I'm talking about is the Snagless Sally, guys. The Snagless Sally is just a inline weedless spinner bait and it excels where you would normally want to throw a spinner bait but can't because of weeds so specifically what you've got is just an inline spinner bait you've got a single blade uh, and then you've got a wire weed guard that sticks up here and that will that wire weed guard protects the hook there's a little bit of a weight you can get them uh, in several different sizes i think they start i think you can get quarter three eighth and a half I'm usually throwing a 3.8, that's kind of my standard size, but I do have baits in the quarter and the half as well. And then I like to put a, a boot tail swimmer, like this Berkeley, Berkeley Power Swimmer on the back, just to give it a little bit of bulk. Uh, but the whole key to this bait is it allows you to fish a spinner bait style bait through a bunch of stuff that you normally wouldn't do. It's a very, very popular bait still down in Florida. The California Delta guys are throwing it. Uh, like lakes like Lake Eufaula down in Alabama, places where you have a lot of thick grass growth and a lot of places where you have uh, buggy whips or bulrush, uh, whatever you call it, or if you've got hay grass, uh, the Kissimmee grass down in Florida, because of its streamlined approach, you can throw it in the, the, front, of the, the front of the bait will basically act as a propeller. So when you're pulling it through something that has thick stalks, so say, uh, some buggy whips, you know, you're pulling it through that and it's just deflecting off of it and pulling the bait. And then you've got a nice stiff weed guard that's protecting the hook. And because it's protecting the hook, you're not going to get snagged. When you get a fish to bite, they'll push down those two wire weed guards like that. And you get a good hook set on them. You catch a lot of fish. But the, the, the whole key here is if you tried throwing a regular spinner bait that's got the, the split arm on it, you're just going to get stuck. You know, you try to bring a spinnerbait through some thicker cover and that, that spinnerbait arm will bump off of, the, you know, the stalks of the weeds and literally rotate the hook into it and you'll get stuck. It's not an easy way to fish. Same thing with a chatterbait. You know, you, you've got an exposed hook, so it's hard to bring a chatterbait through those areas. Generally, this is a really good bait to throw where you're throwing a swim jig. You know, a swim jig is the same sort of deal. You're able to swim that through a bunch of that thick, heavy weed. But it's sometimes you want the blade. You, you know, you may have a little bit of some off-color water or some tannic-colored water, and you just want something that's going to draw the fish out of those weeds to your bait. And if you're in an area where you feel like a swim jig is a good bait to be throwing, you should think about trying your snagless sally because you'll be able to work it through that heavy cover just as easily, but you're giving the fish a whole different look. They're just not used to seeing a spinnerbait coming through that same type of thick grass where you would be throwing, you know, a swim jig. It's a whole different look. This bait excels really well up north here. It's one of those baits that I like throwing if I've got northern pike around because the northern will come up and you've got some link to the bait where you've almost got a built-in uh, wire, you know, wire uh, weed guard protecting at the front so you're not going to get the bite offs, but it just works really, really well any place you've got weed. You know, if you got areas that do have a bunch of slime weed or dead and decaying weed, you're going to have issue with that blade just like you would with a normal spinner bait where it's just gunking up. 
but any place you've got good green weed where you can rip the bait through it or you can swim the bait through it where you've got you know your Kissimmee grass your bulrushes that type of thing you definitely can can work this bait through it really well and I'm telling you there's a lot of people who are living down in Florida or out in California who are fishing these and they're not telling you about it I can tell you at the professional level most of the serious shallow water grass fishermen have some snagless sallies with them I can't tell you the number of times I've been at an event, you know, and you'll, you'll hear people after the first couple days of practice, you always hear guys, you know, what baits people are starting to utilize. And anytime we go down to Florida, it seems like you hear guys asking each other for snagless sallies. So it's one of those things that I think you should get. It really is a bait that has been updated. If you find some that are older, they're not going to have as good a hook, as good a weed guard. The components are a little different. But if you go and buy a new one right now, I mean, it's got laser sharp hooks. It's it's a really high end bait. Uh, Hildebrandt makes them. Hildebrandt makes a really good spinner bait, a really good blade. Uh, so the components on the new ones are really good, but the old ones still work. If you can find the old ones, they still work just as well. But it's a bait that I think you should carry, especially if you're fishing around a lot of grass, a lot of uh, emergent weeds. It's another bait you can swim great through lily pads. Um, so it just gives the fish a different presentation. I'd highly recommend it. If you're not throwing a snagless sally or have never thrown one, it's worth buying one and just giving it a try. You get the uh, compact spinner bait look. You know, I think one of the baits that we've over the years forgotten about is just the inline spinner. And that's what the snagless sally is, but it's meant to come through some of the thickest grass that there is out there. So guys, if you haven't thrown one, give it a try. I'm telling you, it catches fish. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and stay tuned for tomorrow's video.